What's going on my YouTube family? Another quick video. This one's very important. I want you guys to pay attention. And before I start, shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys, my old subscribers, for giving uh, the, the encouraging words. I really appreciate you guys, man, for real. It's uh, what keeps me putting out that good information, man. Here we go. So, this video, right, real important because there's a lot of a lot of truckers, company drivers, and truckers out there, man, that's thinking about buying a truck. And that's important, don't get me wrong. But there's also company drivers that, that also want to be homeowners. So which order should you do it in? Should you get your truck first, then get the home, or get the home first, then get the truck? Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. And, and, and I want you guys to pay attention because had I known what I know now, I would have did it differently. Okay, what I did, I bought my truck first. Okay, and once you buy your truck, you already know. Once you leased on to a company, you know, I was working for US Express at the time, they, they get 1099s. Okay, and uh, and then once you go on your own authority, you're paying your own taxes. And I'm gonna be honest with you, had I known that once you go to get approved through a bank, that they would give you that much problems trying to get approved once you, you're a homeowner i mean once you're once you're getting paid 1099 and uh and paying your own taxes believe me things are different you know a lot of banks they they it's a little it gets a little strenuous to get approved for a home at that point you know uh, they rather they'll approve you faster if you have a w-2 because it has all the information on there. It shows you paying your uh, taxes. It shows how much income you made for the year. And uh, and uh, you got 401ks. 401ks is real helpful when you get in a home because basically they they could use that as leverage to approve you. So that, it's always good to have a 401k, which you can set up on your own when you have your own business. But it's just a lot easier if you're getting a w-2 okay so basically what i'm saying is as a company driver when you start trucking but if you're you're driving for a company right now stay with that company until you get approved for your home and you, you get in the game once you get your home and use established on that end go ahead and and go ahead and get your truck if if you ask me what's more important is becoming a homeowner. Homeowner, now once you get your truck, you're able to make more money, pay for your mortgage. You don't have to go through any extra loopholes. Right now I'm going through extra loopholes to try to get approved uh, through this bank to get this home. Okay, had I known what I known, I would have stayed as a company driver, got the home process situated, and got my home secured once i would have got that then i would have went and got my truck you know so uh shout out to the brother that i just met at the ta truck stop too uh his name was english if i'm not mistaken his name's english shout out to him you know i had a real good conversation with him and he asked me the question because he, he's a company driver and he was like hey look man i want to buy a truck but before i buy the truck what do you think i should do should i get the truck first or the home and it's funny that he said that because that's something that I was going through, you know, that I'm, I'm actually going through right now, you know, and I had past few months, it's been very difficult for me to get approved on this home loan because having my own business, it's not, it, 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 it's crazy. So, you know, and, and you'll realize when you start speaking to a lot of realtors, they get turned off the minute they hear that you're getting paid a 1099 they don't want to hear it they really kind of like uh and then they start giving you the run around and i was wondering why that was it's because they know that a lot of the banks are not going to well they're going to give you a hard time approving you you know and uh it's not like it can't be done but it's a little bit more difficult and they rather not go through that you know so a lot of re uh, realtors they don't really want to uh, you know uh, they, they don't really want to deal with you and for you guys that already have experience in that area you could attest to what I'm saying you know but 
I don't want people to make the mistakes I made, so that's why I'm making this video. So, in conclusion, in conclusion to what I'm saying, and, and if you're a homeowner, this, this video ain't for you, basically. So don't leave comments. I'm noticing sometimes people just leave comments on the bottom. It don't really pertain to them. You know, they talk about stuff off the topic. And I like to get to all my comments and talk to the people that are actually, you know, that need direction and need help. But if you just leave your comments, you know, leaving words of encouragement, yeah, those people, you know, you're benefiting that that discussion. But if you if you don't have anything to say that's gonna benefit the, the topic or the discussion, that goes for anybody page you on. If you're gonna put some negative energy on somebody's page and it's not really benefiting the topic, just keep it to yourself, man, because at the end of the day, don't nobody want to hear your thoughts or negative thoughts on what whatever it is you got going on. Keep that energy to yourself. So, whatever. Nevertheless, for the homeowners, this video is not for you. But for the ones that's getting ready to buy homes or are thinking about buying homes in the future, if you are thinking about buying a home in the future, get that out the way first before you buy a truck. That's the whole point of this video. Like I said, if you guys do know any other ways to get a home when you're a 1099, which you can, don't get me wrong, it's just a little bit more difficult, you know? It's a little bit more difficult on the paperwork side. So, if you have any other way, go ahead, put it out there, leave, the, leave it in the comment sections. If you know anybody that can help anyone or help me too, because what I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If, if I can't, if, if I keep going through what I'm going through with getting approved for a home, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, because I got a whole, I'm relocating. I'm relocating, I already told you guys that it's gonna be taking place in the next two months. I'm be in the Texas area. And once I get there, I don't know Texas laws and whatnot and how things are gonna play out when I get there. But if I'm going through, if, if I'm still going through a lot of hard times getting approved for a home and they need to see a W-2, I'm gonna go and find a company job where I can get a W-2 and work for a year and to show the proof of income, pay the taxes, and you know, and have my trucks on the road while I'm working a local job, you understand me, to get approved. You understand me? Because I need to get that house. You understand me? And I'm not gonna sit here and be sitting here fighting to try to do it through the business when it's not working. It, it hasn't been working. So if you have any way you can help me or you got any advice, put it out there. I'd love to know how I can get approved, you know, and you know, uh, get help. But that's my video in a nutshell. Hopefully you guys benefited from it. But to avoid the headaches I'm going through, go ahead, if you're a company driver, go ahead and lock in that home first. And after you do that, get your truck. You understand me? You avoid a lot of headache. Believe me when I tell you. But that's my video.